Hey guys, welcome back to another reading, okay? Let's see what's going on here. I felt drawn to do another reading because it's just something here um, that you're just not, you're not seeing the full picture of something, maybe regarding someone or something that you have to let go of. You may be getting a lot of downloads at this time. Spirit may be trying to warn you about somebody that's around you or a place that you're going to. That's not really healthy for you. I'm seeing some apartments. They're like cream color. Okay, maybe you should stay away from those apartments, especially if you hang out there or something. Conception. Somebody's name is Elaine. Bradley, Bradford, something like that. Third Eye Chakra, Divine Masculine. I'm telling you, somebody seem like um, they thinking of some dumb shit right here to do to you. Seem like somebody trying to rob masculine again. I mean, or fam. I heard it was payday, so somebody just got paid or something. And this time got to necessarily be you. This could be somebody that you love dearly. This could be your person. Um, heart chakra. What else is here? Somebody is just really trying to make things hard for you. They see that you are unstoppable, like you're an unstoppable force. Universal love, dynamic here, miracle, delight. You're an unstoppable force and somebody really can't get over that. There's divine feminine. So yeah, there's some changes here. You could be changing like your address, your phone number, something like that. Why do I feel like that doesn't matter though? I feel like um, even if you was to change like your location or anything, somebody is stalking you to the point where they're going to find out anyway. Um, if they not watching you, they got somebody else watching you. That shit real shit. If they're not, if they're not physically watching you, they got someone else watching you. They do this on a daily basis. It's like somebody needs to know your every fucking move. I keep telling y'all about these monitoring ass fucking energies, right? And it's to disrupt something in your life because you have this material. Fam, that's when, like, do y'all even know what this is? Like, do y'all know? Because I, I'm really trying to figure out what the fuck this is. I heard it's your life. Just the fact that you're alive is a problem for somebody. Yeah, temptation. You being alive, I heard this long. So maybe somebody had plans to, you know, try to harm you a long ass time ago. But see, the difference is you have wisdom here, okay? That's the difference. Like, you're wise enough to... I heard wise counselor. I'm seeing that wise counselor card in my head. But you got enough wisdom to know, you know, certain things. But it's still something here that you're not seeing clearly. Like, somebody is working with your offer. I don't know who this could be to you. Look at that wish fulfillment and transformation. It seems like some kind of ascension here for sure. You have a major calling over your life and somebody don't want you to get to the promised land. And like, if you do get there, they want you to like, like as soon as you get there, they want you to turn around and walk away or some shit. Deception and envy. Y'all know that feeling of, damn, I finally made it. Like, I can't believe I'm here. Like say if you're walking for miles and miles and miles, or driving for miles and miles and you know you think you're about to run out of gas like i'm just saying from what i have experienced myself like when like you're traveling or something and you're running low on gas and you're like oh shit i need to fill up i need to fill up i'm gonna just wait to the next exit now i can make it a few more exits excuse me oh the spiritual burp <laughs> i can make it a few more exits i can make it a few more exits and then you finally you like oh shit i don't see anything what five miles what oh my god oh my god what? And then God shows up. It's a gas station right there on the next exit and it's right off the exit. You did a issue, something like that. Somebody wants you to give up like right before you get to something. Patience and planning here, spiritual union reverse. So somebody, this is about blocking the spiritual union. Yeah, somebody don't want someone to move towards you victoriously. But that's, I mean, just because they're suffering in silence, that don't have anything to do with you, fam, that's one. So on to, look, I'm telling you the vibes. Harmony, the real reason why y'all got a lot of haters, okay? Because it's, it's something about you that somebody feels you don't deserve something, okay? It's like this one person who's very stubborn, this person feels you don't deserve anything, so they're doing a little shit in the background. You must understand that the most high God is already taking care of this. This person has no power over you, over your movement, over anything. 
I feel like this person right here gonna end up running this little great while before you do because they're trying to keep so many tabs, little movement, choices, decisions. They decided, or this is you, motherfucker, you decided to be in somebody's business and then when you get your shit, don't be surprised. I'm just saying don't be shocked. That's all I'm saying because y'all felt love to be shocked when some shit backfires on you. Yeah, love begins. It's all about a relationship. I keep telling y'all this, bro. I've been picking up on love recently, like for like the last month. Because I don't really do love readings because it be too much karmy bullshit. Temptation, and then we have memories of love. And that's the truth, Aru. I'm telling you, I don't really do love readings just because of karmics and all this bullshit. And they're always trying to find out y'all moves. That's why I don't do love readings. The only love readings I do now are on my Virgo channel, Love Peppermint, and they're only for Virgo, strictly. They're strictly Virgo readings. I think that's pretty cut and dry. I don't think you need to ask questions after that. They're strictly for Virgo. What's here? So, yeah, um, whatever this is, it's like somebody is contemplating with us, with another person. I see, like, Coercion. Somebody is trying to make somebody say something or confess to something. And somebody is also colluding, is what the fuck I'm hearing, colluding with a different energy here to bring a demise to you because they don't feel like you deserve them. That's just what I'm getting. I'm getting that for real. Like somebody just simply, every day that you're alive is a problem for this person. Yeah, but you're not orphan. This person is still sitting back wondering, like, how are they still here? Why are they still here? They were supposed to be gone or they were supposed to be you know, uh, caught up, fucked up, broke, something. Yeah, but it's not happening. That's not fair. That's never going to happen. You did a you. You have a new life here. Chaos and conflict and then poise. Yeah, these people can't even bring shit to your life because you're in a new life. You're in a new phase. You're doing something new. And the shit that these people are doing is old as fuck. They don't even have any class doing this either. Somebody about to purchase a brand new Benz. Congrats, Sam Masculine. Yeah, exchanging gifts reverse and never ending story reverse. So something is over. Whatever this part of your life is, it's fucking over. So this contemplation that you're feeling. And also it's a dream that did you dream that you killed someone or somebody tries to kill you in your dreams or something? Yeah, between worlds reverse. That was not a dream. Okay, I feel like you be extra traveling, peace, bye. Okay. Somebody is trying to kill you in your sleep or in real life. It's like I feel like you were sleeping, but that was not a dream. That was real shit. You were in another realm. You astral travel. I heard galactic. You're a warrior and an avenger. And somebody, um, oh, I just saw a beautiful island. Maybe you're about to travel to an island or something. I heard Cayman go the distances in the reverse yin. I mean, yang, sorry. Somebody doesn't want somebody to go the distance to, um, either travel towards you or to make some kind of communication with you. I'm just really sick of this. Like, goodness gracious. I try to give y'all as much information as possible here, fam. That's one because, you know, y'all you, always got somebody on your ass. A change in the wind here. So something is changing abruptly. I feel like this person should not have done what they did to you. And it's a whole lot of spell work here. Like, what is up with all this spell work? Y'all bitches need to get a life. They're not going to be able to heal from whatever this is. Whoever these people are, bro, they're not. Like, the, the choices that they keep making to come towards you with this shit, they're not going to heal from it. Yeah, man, holding a coin reverse. Somebody done lost everything. This could be your fucking family. I keep telling y'all, your family is broke. You are the only millionaire in your family you're the first one and you're gonna be one of many and that's after the bloodline that you create you did Rush Q. door to spirit reverse you you ended all caring connections here and you're not broken hearted with shit i don't know why somebody wants you to be in such bad shape i don't get this here yeah door to value because they see something here they see you're stronger than them I mean, but if you see somebody is stronger than you, why are you steadily trying to defeat them when you can't? Somebody feels like they can defeat you if they sneak attack. Bitch, no. You're going to see their angel. Our angel Michael ain't no hoe. He ain't walking away from you, bitch. You're not going to you're not gonna walk away from these attacks that you're sending to their person. Or their person is not walking away. Motherfuckers is not just going to attack you and walk the fuck away. I don't know why the hell people think they're here. 
Get a fucking like, bitch, and just stay the hell out of this person's way, bitch. That's how I feel about it. Stay the fuck out their life. This person is not even bothering you. That's the shit that makes me mad because whoever you are, you're not bothering this fucking devil. Deceit, deceiving ass motherfuckers. They trying to set y'all people up, bro. Every single day. Somebody trying to set a nigga up at Golden Corral or Applebee's. Bitch, get your raggedy ass on it. Man holding my heart here. Goddess of the moon. I heard Waffle House. Late night, morning Waffle House. Somebody love fucking Waffle House. Somebody eat Waffle House every goddamn day. I feel like you need to know how to cook that shit. Angela Ballast Reverse. I'm not saying that be scared to go to places that you love. No, I'm not saying that. But, bro, you need to be cautious of these places that you're going to. I'm just telling you what the fuck is in the cars, bro. And what the fuck I'm feeling like. I'm not telling nobody to be afraid. Because the most high God got you. But you also don't need to be stupid either. The fuck? You don't need to go eat out every single day. You don't need to go and hang out with people. This is not shit that you need to do. These are not doctor's appointments. These are not business fucking meetings. This is not nothing like that. This is some hanging out, some cool shit. This is some other shit that you can do without, honey. Somebody is like monitoring every move you fucking make because you're a sudden wealth. It's all about money. I keep telling y'all this. Now, I'm going to just tell you, I'm here to warn you. That's it. I'm just only here to warn you. That's my job. Who's here? None more, none less. I'm just a fucking messenger, honey. Somebody gonna be a fucking despair playing goddamn games with their life. Like I said, somebody's trying to have you in bad health because of money. The fuck? They're fucking thieves. And you're not expecting this to be this person or these people. They're thieves. What's the message? Get it through your fucking head. These people do not like you. And what the fuck do you need to be in somebody's face for? And ain't nobody that interested in the fucking world unless you're fucking them. Are you fucking this person? I don't think so. <clears throat> child here. Huh. Somebody could be even using a child to get to you. A child that ain't even high honor that you shouldn't concern yourself about either. This main female, this karmic ass bitch right here trying to set divine masculine up. It's a sharp ass pain in my right motherfucking arm. So that could be significant to someone. Yeah, somebody is trying to kill you. They're literally trying to take your life. I don't give a fuck. These people, these people sit back and study y'all the places you like to go to and shit like that. Like to eat out at, go hang out and drink. Look, it's a false person there too. Main female reverse courthouse. This person right here loves to like go around sifting through different shit that you like or whatever the case may be. And then they'll literally, they'll go and start paying people that may work there or even get somebody to go and get a job there. Yeah, it's something about a child. And it's something about courtship to expectation, mature man. They don't want this person to come anywhere near you. A false ass goddamn family member. And it's all this too because motherfuckers is stealing shit. These people are some goddamn thieves, bro. If you don't notice that shit by now, then I don't know what to tell you. They fake it for distant horizon in your family. Like I said, I feel like their whole damn dynamic of family is fake as fuck. What's there for family room? 13 goddamn minutes on this dumb shit. False. Two times. False. This is crazy. And somebody might have done something to you twice, like back to back. Like, masculine could have got robbed, like back to back. Like, as soon as you get back up on your feet, boom, here comes some other shit going on too. Or somebody, every everything you accumulate, this person is doing magic on that shit to take it from you. Like I said, they want your money in the, um, in the reverse. Everything that you've ever had and lost, this person, um, they'll wait until you get something else because they just know you are. They know God gonna bless you. And then they'll come in and then they'll do something else to take that from you too or to ruin it. It don't necessarily have to be a robbery, but in the spirit, I'm feeling like it's a robbery. Yeah, house, main, male. Don't let it fuck nigga in your house either, masculine. It's some lame man nigga that wanna come smoke or something like that, drink, whatever. You don't need to drink smoke. Y'all don't fuck need to know how to be by yourself. I just really feel like that. You're, this is a time for ascension. Motherfuckers is ascending. Wealthy man. Motherfuckers are ascending. And see, these hoes and niggas is not worried about money. They're not worried about working. They're not worried about securing no bag. They're not worried about any of that shit. They're only focused on taking something from you. As much as I get up every day and thank God for the breath of my body and get up and do some work, I'm just really trying to figure out how hoes can't get up and do some work. Get up and do some something, bitch. Get up and do something. Like, what the fuck? Why the hell is you always trying to take something from somebody fucking else, bitch, and it never works? 
You always trying to set somebody up because you want to live lavish and shit. If you want to live lavish, bitch, work for that shit, ho. The fuck is you talking about? Marrying niggas just to take their life from them. You marrying niggas literally to take their life from them unexpectedly. Like, what the fuck type of shit is this? That's all this person does and think about. And people like this. Somebody last name Horde. Or somebody named Horace or something like that. Boris. But see, this ain't cool, Joe. Ain't nothing big, sexy, and fine about this motherfucker. This is a puny, peewee-ass, Spongebob, weightlifting fuck nigga that can't get shit off the fucking ground if it was a firecracker, period. They couldn't get shit licked off the ground if it was a firecracker. This is a pussy-ass fuck nigga right here that's trying to hang around divine masculine. Masculine, I understand this whole home, but I understand y'all went to school together. I understand all that shit, bro, but nah, bro. This person right here is my shit. And they're being sent in by your family. I don't see how the fuck y'all can't see through this. I don't need no y'all folks. And I see right through these people. Period. I see right through them and their intentions. All of the distractions, all of that shit, I see right the fuck through it. Somebody's trying to cause major distractions in your life, especially while you're working. Like somebody feels like they can throw your focus off or something. Look at this damn magician energy. This is what I'm saying. It's always somebody on some dumb shit regarding you all. And I don't, before a lot of y'all, I really don't even feel like you deal with people. This is the thing. A lot of y'all can be to y'all feel. So this is spiritually. Somebody is in the spirit doing this shit. Because what? As above, so below. But see, another thing about it is the most high God lives within your body. This is what I'm trying to feel. How the fuck do people think that they're getting away with something when you don't fuck with these people? They're trying to bind themselves to you knowing damn well in real life you don't even fuck with them. You'll never talk to these people. You'll never go around them. Nothing. Somebody wants you highly confused, bro. This is some, some bullshit-ass motherfucking energy. I'm just really sick and fucking tired of this shit. If people would just give you your motherfucking money or they shouldn't have touched it at all. But now they ass is in some fucked up ass situations here. I don't feel like they got nothing to do with you. Why these people are being investigated by federal agents. I don't feel like they have anything to fuck to do with y'all. And then you would think that if these people were in so much goddamn trouble, they would be wasting their time. Well, not wasting their time, but they would be taking their time to submit to God and ask God to help them. No, they're wasting their fucking time trying to plot and plan on your murder. So something won't come out. I mean, but it is anyway. See, most of y'all already know this is seven of swords. They have fucked nigga or a bitch. You know this person is sneaky. You know it. You know this. Three of water, cooperating, like I said, colluding with other motherfucking people. But you're too strong. You're not stupid. Why do they keep thinking y'all are dumb? Y'all folks ain't dumb. Like, they just gonna lure you the fuck in and take your motherfucking life from you, bro. Man, that's a damn hell no. Ace of cups, no. Ace of swords is in the reverse. Three of fire, they're waiting on some shit. They, they want something to be unclear to you, bro. I'm just trying to tell you the vibes. Nine of fire, they want you to be heavily burdened. This is what I'm saying. Somebody wants you to be so comfortable and so used to something, then boom, they're going to pop up with some dumb shit. Stay your ass at fucking home, bro. Learn how to cook your own food. These people be all up in their ass and shit anyway, cooking y'all shit. Touching your shit. Don't even wash their fucking hands. Anyway. Bitch, I think about that before I even eat out. For real, for real. I don't eat out like that, y'all. Especially recently. With my children, bro, hell nah, bro. I could. And then, too, that shit costs too goddamn much. Queen of Fire. The Chariot, the Dreamer. The Knight of Air. Look at this quick-ass goddamn communication. Somebody trying to come and bring to you, bro. I'm literally seeing some shit happening outside of a Waffle House. Y'all folks need to sit the fuck day. Like, bro, you ain't that hungry. Fast. Fast. Like, what the fuck? Your life ain't worth that. Then I say I seen this card. Didn't I just fucking say I saw this card? Why is Kelso? I'm telling you what the fuck going on. Y'all folk got too much good shit. And look at the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Earth. Everything you invest in, somebody wants to take that shit from you. Because they're jealous. This is fucking jealousy. Five of Fire. Hermit Energy. Virgo. Release. Release this shit. Whoever this person plays, seen people, whatever the fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, bro. Cooking may take a little bit longer, and really you don't. That shit is, man, I don't give a fuck. Cooking your own kitchen. Clean your fucking kitchen the fuck up and cooking your own shit. That same $30, $40 you want to spend that motherfucking um, Waffle House or wherever the fuck, take that same money and go to the store and buy some groceries and cook your own food. The fuck? 
That shit ain't hibachi. You watching them cook your shit? That ain't fucking hibachi, bro. The emperor. The fuck? Nine of herbs. You're good by your fucking self. Six of herbs. You are you are a good person, bro. And this shit is pissing me off because you're a good person. If you were a fucked up ass person, then I wouldn't understand this shit, bro. But I see why these people on this bullshit. Page of Swords stalking the fuck out of you. The Page of Swords is in reverse, meaning somebody's overdoing something. They're over, they're doing too much. Watching every fucking move you make for what, bitch? If you need to know what I'm doing, come ask me how. If, if I want you to know what I'm doing, I will reveal that to you. Why the fuck is you sneaking around spiritually, sneaking around physically, trying to be in somebody's fucking business, bitch? Why is it that you need to know so much? Because you steal it, hoe. You fucking steal it, bitch. That's why. Y'all some thieves, assholes, and fucking niggas. That's the fuck why. King of air, knight of earth. That's the fucking reason why, bitch. That's why you need to watch this person all fucking day. That's the fuck why, bitch. That's why. Because you're stealing, ho. You're in the two of fucking swords, confused. Why this person's still alive? How dare you, ho? Child, please. That's the ace of swords, motherfucking truth. I'm so sick of y'all motherfucking bitches and niggas on this dumb shit. Every fucking day. Fem messing they do this shit to y'all every single day. Oh, it's not going to change. It ain't going to stop. Look, somebody's trying to retaliate on you for what? They feel like you owe them something. What? What is it that you owe? I don't feel like you owe that person shit. That's just what I feel. From what I'm... The energy that y'all folks in, our Angel Michael, I don't feel like you owe these people a fucking thing. I feel like somebody owes you shit. If anything, they owe you. Somebody owe you a lot of motherfucking money. These motherfuckers got the nerve to owe you some shit and then try to get mad at you when you don't need the shit. They got the nerve to owe you some shit and get mad because you ain't pressuring them about it. You still spending money. You still getting money. You still doing whatever the fuck you want to do on a daily basis. And like I said, somebody is searching you. They're online looking for shit as well. Why is it that they need to be keeping up with you? It's several people I feel that's monitoring you. But see, for most of y'all, this is a boss. This is somebody who is interested in you. But most of this is your family that's searching for you. They want to know where you are or something. Like you're the lost sheep or some shit. No, you're not. You're protected by our angel, Michael, honey. These bitches and niggas got legal ass shit. They got to meet with fucking attorneys and shit. And that's why they need to know where you are. They need to know, have you gotten this money? They need to know, have you been alerted about them stealing? They need to know, do you know that they ass is going to prison? Bitch, lockdown. You know you going to jail. They mad. They want to know. Hmm. They want to see if you're with this person. That's why they're keeping so many goddamn eyes on you. They looking at you like, how the fuck are they on vacation? They need some motherfucking receipts. They trying to see how you can afford a vacation. Bitch, I feel like you need to mind your fucking business. You coming together with somebody. This is, man, look, look at the damn negotiator. Somebody about to motherfucking get triggered and snitch. I've been picking up that energy too. This is your fucking family. I'm, this is just period. This is just period. Or this is a family that's doing this. Or some kind of occult. It's something that you have. And you don't even realize that you have it. This is what I'm saying. This is the shit that's jiggling my ass as well. My ass is jiggling from left to right. Trying to figure out how in the fuck. Okay. It's jiggling today. How in the fuck. Because they know you got some shit. It's either you already got this or you don't know you have it and you're about to receive it. Happiness. It's like all you want people to do is leave you the fuck alone. I don't feel like you even care about whatever this is. Somebody is going to realize that. You don't even really truly care about what this is. You just want people to leave you alone. Somebody is in this revenge as energy towards you. They don't even have a reason. They were the ones stealing from you. They were the ones putting out plots on you. And if they ever try to come anywhere near you, the feds is on, child. They still under heavy surveillance is what the fuck I heard. This is a karmic, a karmic ass motherfucking family. Y'all folks know y'all don't belong. You're a twin flame. You have a twin flame. And somebody mama is mad as hell too. Because this is your twin flame. Look, bounty hunter, they're searching for you. Somebody's literally searching for you. They got other people searching for you. Trying to bring drama into your life because they're in a pressure cooker. Shit getting real hot in hell, ain't it, bitch? I told y'all too, motherfuckers done sold your goddamn house. If something something came back with the deed on this house 
and now they're under investigation further. It's further, it's it like, it's so many investigations going on with this. Somebody said, why they not locked up? I don't fucking know, adrenaline rush. I don't know, it's something that the feds are doing though. The feds are definitely here. This shit getting thrown in the fucking trash. They trying to retaliate against you before you can testify in court or something. And this also could be an ex of yours. Like somebody who don't want you to receive money here, Divine Fam. Somebody that you trashed who was trash as fucking hell shit. This trash fucking compactor. This nigga who did nothing but steal and fucking lie and cheat. What else is here? Somebody is poisoned. They're toxic as hell. They really are. I don't like these people, bro. It's like they're not stopping. They're doing even more. Ain't it a full moon coming up? Yeah, it's a settlement here. It's something that you either got already or you're about to get this. And somebody pissed off about it. You're magnetic. But see, the thing about it is the heat is on. The pressure is on. These people are not getting any synchronicity from spirit. They're not. Look at the interview card. Somebody's being questioned by the feds. And I'm telling you, somebody is on snitch. Why they said they think y'all are snitching on them. No, it's somebody right there with them who they were doing this lame shit with. They're the ones snitching, not you. What is there to snitch? Who is there to tell on? You don't even really know who all is even involved in this dumb ass shit. You don't even really truly know who all is even involved. And these people are in anxiety because of what they did. They're in anxiety because nothing is flowing to them. Honey bun, bitch. Let's just talk about the shoot through hoes and niggas. You're mad because you can't touch this feminine or this masculine. They're heavily protected. Feminine masculine, y'all are heavily protected from whoever these people is. This is a family of people. Seems like some mob shit, some gang shit or something. But yeah, they won't be touching you. I don't give a fuck how many people they don't been able to touch. You are one that they want the fuck. You're a prophet. Do my prophets no harm. These people are angry as shit. Fuck them. That's how they feel. That's how I feel about it. Y'all folks ain't got enough paper. Y'all ain't got enough going on right here for me. Look at all these dumb ass magic niggas and houses on. I told you it's a lot of spell work here. Flow, they mad. It's a whole lot of goddamn spell work here, bro. The day I can do these readings without picking up on spell work, shit, that'll be the day all these hoes and niggas is wiped out. Because all they know how to do is spells. That's it. And they put so much hatred behind this, fam. Not feeling it. They put so much hate behind these spells that they do on you all. This is really sad, bro. Like, damn, when, when are you gonna learn? You're not gonna beat this person. Somebody doing beauty spells and all kind of shit. That shit ain't gonna work either, bitch. Back at you. All that evil eye and that bullshit. Right the fuck back at you, ho. You are made in God's image. They not gonna destroy God's image for you, the fuck? Somebody literally wants you to be ugly as hell or if you're really pretty they want you to be like like or if you're really handsome they want you to be you know um your self-esteem to be really low or something like somebody doesn't want you to have any confidence in anything because your confidence what it helps you to be you y'all folks don't need no pill you don't need no weed no drinks your confidence is your booster your faith your loyalty Somebody is mad as hell at you. This is crazy as fuck. But like I said, it's all a part of the sacred plant anyway. This person cannot even raise their vibration. But you trying to raise up motherfuckers from the dead? You can't even raise your vibration. But you trying to raise the dead. To do some kind of fucking graveyard rituals on this masculine or feminine. Are you fucking kidding, bitch? Are you serious? This is very sad. It's not named Nicole. You have angelic protection. Somebody about to get their shit. They going to prison. Look, do the work. I feel like that's all y'all do is the fucking work. All y'all do is work. That's can receive. That's why you're getting what you want. Because you have done the fucking work. This person, if they want to get something, they need to do the work to do it. That card ain't going to come out enough. Cut the fucking cords, bro. This shit crazy. Like I said, they're not even getting no signs, synchronicities, reminders, nothing. Because they were told too many fucking times. And see, these messages keep repeating themselves. Maybe new people are watching me every day or something. Or these may be the same enemies. Or you may have some new enemies. I don't fucking know. Because whoever you are, you're very courageous and brave, bro. And you are doing some shit that your ancestors, they may have not. I don't want to say they didn't have courage to do so. They may have gotten stopped, okay, before they could do it. But they're guarding you. 
You have guardian angels all around you, bro. You are heavily protected. Harmony and resolution here. Strength and guidance. I cannot make this so intuition and downloads. You have a whole spiritual team. I'm warning you right now. Stay the fuck away from Waffle House. Stay the fuck away from this Applebee's. Stay the fuck away from whatever this is. Go buy your own food and cook it. Period. And it could be just something going on with this restaurant. Just in whole. Don't gotta be nothing violent going on. But it could be just this restaurant and the cleanliness of this place or something. Somebody is sick as fuck. Somebody is sick. And they're coming to work anyway. I understand communication. They're going to lie. They're going to lie to show up to work. This person is sick as fuck. Transformation, learning experience. Somebody, look, clear counsel and release. A lot of y'all, bro, I'm telling you, you better learn how to motherfucking listen. Bro. For real, for real. Let's see what the tea could be. I'm hearing freaking you by Josie. Somebody might get done fucking and want some food real quick. Make that bitch get up and cook. The fuck? And if you don't trust that hoe cooking, why the fuck are you fucking? Make that nigga get up and cook. Fem, get your ass up and cook. Masculine, get your ass up and cook. If you don't trust somebody food, you need to get rid of them. <clears throat> if you don't trust their cooking and shit. Because something here is not right. It's, I'm hearing the wee hours. Oh, sorry. Of the morning. The wee hours of the morning. It's like somebody has been watching you. They have literally, they have been watching your ass. They have been waiting on the day. Literally waiting on the day they can catch you off guard. Looking you up and shit right here. Head in the clouds. I mean, this person gets a nut. I ain't interested here. Somebody's ego is in their way. Somebody literally gets a nut off of planning your demise. Obsessive lover. This could be an ex, like I said. Film a lot of y'all, these, these niggas, bro, y'all need to leave these people the fuck alone, bro. Go away and don't stay the fuck away. They're not shit fuck here. Get a girl's cute. They're not. Somebody want to start drama with you too. Chaos, heavy. They, they seeking for some kind of revenge. Maybe like I said, because you got money with a divorce or whatever. This person will even travel to you. They don't care. This person could live in another state and you could live in another state. Like, say if this person found out where you live at, right? This motherfucker right here will literally travel either back and this person will, this person is so obsessed with you that they will either keep traveling back and forth because it ain't that long to them or they will literally get up and move. Like, they'll move their job and everything. They'll move just to be closer to you. Meanwhile, you're unfucking bothered. Somebody might be screenshotting your location. They're going to catch a case with this. This person is full of diseases as well. Full of them. They're a fucking thief, okay? Whoever this is, okay? And they don't never have no facts. They're going around telling lies on you so they can steal. Somebody's telling lies on you about what kind of mother or father you are, but you're truly a boss daddy. The fuck? A boss bitch? You're truly a boss. Somebody is threatened by you. I'm telling you, somebody is angry here. I don't like this energy. Look, they had already tried to ruin your reputation here, and this motherfucker's holding fucking grudges on you. How? This person was stealing from you. Motherfuckers been stealing from you, lying on you, cheating, doing all kind of shit to you. And they got the nerve to hold a grudge on you. And they feel like they need to get you back. Somebody also feels like you drink or you smoke. They can catch you off guard while you hire drunk or something like that. And also, too, it's something about having sex because <clears throat> I know this morning I was picking up on that um, somebody was fucking. Y'all be careful who y'all having sex with, bro. You need to be careful. I feel like Oh, somebody is screenshotting your backgrounds. That's what I was trying to say. Thank you, Spirit, for bringing that back. Somebody is screenshotting, like, your backgrounds, like, when you post pictures. Like, say if you're out somewhere, right? You and your children, or you and your boo, whatever. When you're out somewhere, somebody is screenshotting that, and they're doing some kind of comparison. They're, like, they're like comparing the neighborhood. They're trying to see the radius. Like, they're, they're trying to see exactly where you live. What else is here? Like, they may know what state you're in, chasing. Yeah, they're chasing you from state to state. This motherfucker is chasing you from state to state. Everywhere you go, they follow you. Like, you can't get away from this person or something. The fuck are you? Is this shit are you? It's like you just cannot get away from this motherfucker because they keep following you. But see, this person about to get their shit. I just heard when they when they try to come near you, somebody going to get in a real bad accident. I'm just really saying it. Y'all folks need to be careful, for real. You karmic dumb bitches and niggas. The feminine masculine is protected. You so much are not protected. I would just really suggest you sit the fuck down somewhere, ho. For real, for real. And see, for a lot of y'all, 
This is a bitch that's mad because this divine masculine is interested in you too. Or this divine feminine. Somebody might be mad at that. This is a it. So this person's could be. I don't fucking know. But I know I keep saying something about love and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying, fam? That's what I mean. Hoes and niggas been stealing. They don't even know the fed. Look, there's nothing will come of this situation. I'm telling you, bruh. Y'all folks is too high ranking for this dumb shit. This is dumb shit right here. Y'all are too high ranking for this. What do you need to release? Conclusions are within reach. What do you need to release? Like I said, take that for however it may apply to you. I'm not here to tell nobody what to do. Just give you my advice and messages from my dad. But from this, eating out and all that shit, my advice to you is to cook your own fucking food. That's my advice, honey. Y'all should have turned out better than their shit anyways. You and your loved ones are safe. No worries. Because somebody motherfucking playing games. They gonna surrender to the divine whether they like it or fucking not. Somebody need to really do some reevaluating when it comes down to coming towards you in any given manner. Because I don't feel like it's, it's um, genuine. There's something here that's not genuine about these people around you or something. It's like they're just sitting back waiting, waiting, waiting on something. It says waxing moon. I don't really pay the moon's no attention, but this could be significant to you. Waxing moon. No, that says waning moon. Sorry, waning, waning moon. So waxing could be significant. You might be going to get a wax right here, fam, or you could have just got a wax. Yeah, that's the truth of rule. I'm here imagine me by Kirk Franklin. Somebody is imagining so. Which one of y'all imagining some old nasty shit about me? Man, hell no. You don't have permission to do that. I don't give none of you motherfuckers no permission to be in my energetic field, bitch. You gotta back the fuck up with your pervert fucking ass, bitch. This is all for divine masculine, not you. What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? Y'all so weird as hell. What else is here? Thank you, daddy, for that download. What the fuck? Y'all people weird as fuck. Bitch, you do not have consent to be in my energy. At all. You get obliterated coming in my energy field. I don't give none of you consent and take your raggedy asses on. I don't give you any consent to be in my energy at all. Like I said, my energy is closed out, bitch. That's the truth of rule. In case you thought this shit was sweet, bitch. What else is here? In case you thought that this shit was sweet at night. I'm just not nice. I'm a blessing, but bitch, I'm not friendly at all, whole ass nigga. But anyway, fam, Malcolm, you got a blessing here. You're growing. Somebody's got to be very unsuccessful trying to come anywhere near you here. You're moving towards the light. I just feel like this is a time for awakening. You know, just basically the same old, same old. You know, somebody's trying to get in your energetic field, stalking you, following you around because they're stealing and shit. Fuck here. 37 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this reading right here, fam, Malcolm, because this is just too much, you know? Every, every fucking day, every goddamn day, picking this shit up, bro, it's irritating. I mean, every single day, you mean to tell me every day, you just, every single day, you just can't mind your motherfucking business every day. And it's all because they're stealing from you. They stole some shit from you. And they're, tra they're trying to travel towards you too. Whoever this, un this obsessive lover is that you're uninterested in, I would really take caution. And if you don't got no gun, you need to buy one. Because I feel like you have record anyway of this person stalking and harassing you or something. You definitely need to get you a gun if you don't have one, for sure. And I mean that shit with everything in my body. You need to get you a gun. I don't trust this person. This person cannot be trusted. And see, the thing of it is, this person is trying to catch you off guard. These niggas and hoes don't care about no restraining orders. They don't care. As long as they can get near you some kind of way. They feel like they can't live without you. I wonder what the hell made people think that they can't live without somebody to the point where they feel like they can't. They need to take their life or theirs. Or their own. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? how the hell do you get that down bad in your life? So you feel like you have nothing else. I mean, you have a whole family. You got children. You got all these good things, all these blessings. But see, people don't like to count their blessings. They don't look at that as blessings. They look at it as, oh, my life is fucked up. Bitch, you got kids. They healthy, ain't they? That's a blessing. You got your life to look at your kids, bitch, to complain. That's a blessing, bitch. Being able to complain is a blessing, ho. Some people can't talk at all. This is what I'm saying. These people are not appreciative of nothing. My name Tish or Tyrese, Tyrell, Edgar, Edgar, Edgar. That's somebody granddaddy. Y'all hoes and niggas better stop playing with Eleanor and Ed Edgar, Edgar. 
Y'all better stop playing. These people are not aware how hopeless they finna be in many situations here. They don't get it, y'all. Fam, that's me. They think this shit's on the fucking play with. Y'all ain't shit to play with right here, bro. Whoever this is with this deceiving energy is gonna be revealed to you. And I feel like this person is like right there. Look, that's the truth, the rule. That is the damn truth. This person is like right there around you. And it's like they're giving out your information or something like that. So divine masculine, this could be a bitch that you're sleeping with. Stop fucking this bitch right here. Because this hoe going to end up getting pregnant and you're going to be stuck with this person. Whoever this is, they're trying to set you up any fucking way. Okay? That's all I got for y'all. Remember, God loves you and so do I. See you next time, guys. Bye.